Happy Vlogmas Day 1. Like, what? What? I can't believe we're, do we're doing this again. I know. We're doing it again. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to not only my vlogs, but Alicia Marie Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed the intro. If you didn't see the she full behind- She really hard on it. I, like, I'm not, I actually cried. Like, I did the premiere and, like, people watching it and everyone seeing it for the first time, like, I actually got teary-eyed. I was like, this why am I emo? I feel like the last three have been a lot of editing on your part. Mm -hmm. Does it feel great that this one doesn't have to be Stop. daily? Obviously, we're wearing the Vlogmas merch. I have to say, because y'all are going to be pissed at me, I know that there was no Vlogmas merch this year. I wish I could have an actual reason. The reason is I procrastinated too long, and then I couldn't do it. And I want to say... You told me... In, like, July, I was like, hey... <laughs> Five months till Vlogmas, you should probably get your intro going or something like that. And I didn't. <laughs> she did not. So obviously there's no merch, but I figured I would still rep one of the old ones that I'm wearing. Obviously there's something we have to do before we can kick off Vlogmas Day 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, hear me out. Ash, hear me out. That's really cute. It could be my Vlogmas mug all. We just got rid of so many Christmas mugs too. Thank you so much. I don't know if you saw, I met a girl, she said she like loved my vlogs. And I literally was like, I look like I'm going to a football game. Like I literally look like I'm wearing like, like I'm Vlogmas' number one fan. <laughs> Wait, I definitely feel like it's missing something. A little, shit. <laughs> a music note. <laughs> a music note, what's it supposed to be? I was trying to do a little mistletoe, like a little like berry with the like. Uh, it's kind of like a Christmas tree. Nailed it. It's A for effort. I feel like it used to be such a thing where baristas would write your order and now every place just has the like printing thing so I feel bad asking them to put a message and like it's just more complicated for them to, like, to type it in so I'm just gonna carry a sharpie with me every single day this month. I think I'm gonna make it worse but I'm trying to make it better. Mmm. Hot. I cannot get over how bad I drew this vlog this day one. <laughs> so bad. Honestly, we probably do. We're headed to Traders right now. Ash wanted a wreath. I didn't know they had wreaths here. Yeah, smell it. Oh my, wait, do they have like, I want the whole house to smell like that. If anyone remembers the last vlog where I came to Trader Joe's and I was like, it's so crowded. This is how it normally is. And that's why I was saying, because I got so many comments, people being like, that looks normal. I was like, no, it's so, it was so crowded. This is empty. Look at this. Empty. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. I saw these on TikTok and there's not many left and I can tell it went viral on TikTok because there's not many left. But it's a Korean tofu and veggie seaweed rice roll. Totally gonna have these for lunch and do a little taste test. I'm so excited. Should I get two? I should get two. Has anyone tried the pad thai and is it good? Please let me know. Wow, these are also viral on TikTok. Clearly I'm just becoming a food person now. That's fine with me. <laughs> Ash, what are you wanting? I can tell you're wanting something. Is this for lunch or for dinner? It was supposed to be for dinner. Pretty I want to do the, the sushi for, for lunch. I'm getting these, never tried them. They look bomb. Got some meatballs. <laughs> Like, but what are we, we just I got random know. shit. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm like, what are we actually making? I don't know. No one knows. Okay, let's go to like the produce. I'm sorry, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Ash, Trader Joe's has a beauty oh, advent calendar. Cool. I'm gonna get a sample. Me saying, I'm dairy free, and then me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like always. Creamy. Oh, wow. That's really good. That's actually really good. It's creamy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Wow, look at those sexy shadows. Damn. <laughs> that reads, that reads <laughs> up. All right. I am so excited to try these. I did not think they were going to be there. Okay, directions. Cut the corner of the package. Heat on high for two minutes. Let stand for one minute. Remove combat from the package. Let stand. Heat on. Cut the corner of the package. Okay. All right. There. Hot, hot, hot. I'm filming a TikTok taste test, so go watch the behind the scenes. Ashley, holy shit. Mm. 
The smell tastes too like spinachy, but then you eat it. That is so good. It's just vegetable? Yeah, there's no, there's no like meat. Damn it, we should have got the last three. I knew I should have bought more. Wow. I fully understand why this is viral. Oh my God. Wow. That's really good. So good. Also, we got the tteokbokki. tteokbokki. Go watch the cooking with Remy recipe recipe episode where she made this, but obviously this is like the pre-packaged Trader Joe's one. Hers is obviously better, even though I've never had it. I thought people were just hyping this up, to be honest. Mm. I already ate it all. All right, we're cooking the tteokbokki. I really hope I'm saying that right, Remy. Don't come for me, I'm so sorry. It's been cooking for about three minutes. It said six to eight. Oh, eight to 10 minutes. Okay, that was really easy. All right. It is ready, it is done. We're doing a taste test and I'm very excited. So, cheers. Wow, that was so easy to do. I'm really about to become like a food blogger. <laughs> we are finishing putting the ornaments on the tree because I waited for Ashley. Stop, stop. <laughs> Guys, she's a piss. You did not wait for me. No, I started it. I started, no I started. When have we ever started without each other? You have definitely been no. like, oh yeah, I did it. Like you've no, done that. I added things after day one, but we're supposed to put them together and on day one. You know this. You were sulking for days because the tree wasn't lit up and then you're like over it. I wasn't over it. I didn't know how to fix it. We had to go buy lights. No, so no, we, we didn't. Go no, lights. we did. No yes. one bought lights. We were going to. You guys know, because I already uploaded the vlog. Okay. Anyway, anyway, people say they really missed you in the vlogs because you bring out my little sister energy and then you bring the older sibling vibe. Needless to say, it's been fun. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm right. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a whole other. See, because I saved some for us. I think I already mentioned this in the other vlog. These are literally one of my favorite ornaments and they're from Target and they're just like this little wooden one. What about these ones? Oh my God, my ice skates. I think this is the only ornament that I took from like mom and dad's tree. I had to have been like 12 when I got these. Well, we had a strict, we're only doing neutrals thing. Hey, don't act like you don't, don't even want to be a part of it now. No, 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 that's <laughs> why it fit. Why are you coming after me today? <laughs> Update, tree is decorated. Finally, I also have a quick little story time for you. They're doing construction. Like I was saying, I have a uh, little story time for you and I wish it was clickbait. It's not. All right, just kidding. Decided to come up here because um, lighting was better and it's a little more comfortable. Oh, the craziest thing happened the other day and I feel so, so, dumb, like so dumb. And I know we're all human and things happen and it could have been way worse and everyone's safe, but I feel so dumb because like I could have avoided this entire thing and it's like all my fault, which I know again, things happen. It's fine. We're over it. Literally like two nights ago, we got robbed. They stole so much stuff, like thousands of dollars worth of stuff, which the important backstory to know about this is we literally are like, oh no, I'll get to that later because that actually makes it like, it's like funnier. Not funny, it's not funny at all. The other day I wake up and Ashley's like, hey Alicia, come here. And I was like, what? Like she's, her voice just sounded different. So I was like, okay, so I get up, I'm like half awake. And then I walk over to her, she has her phone and she's looking at some of our security footage and she's like, some guy like stole so much stuff out of our garage. Like you can see him go in and out, in and out, in and out and like taking our stuff and literally like walking off with it. And we're like, what the hell happened? Like what? Like, what? Again, I like had just woken up. So I was like, this makes no sense. Like what's like, I, look, <laughs> What? I will say instantly I felt relieved because I was like, okay, if it was just the garage, like there really isn't anything that valuable in there. Like there's like some sports stuff. Like there's truly nothing like actually crazy valuable in there. Like everything, it's it's fine. So instantly my first thought is, oh, I'm gonna go check our other security cameras. Cause like, let me tell you, there are a lot of security cameras here. Like when we first moved in years ago, I was like, this place is gonna be a fortress and we're gonna have a million cameras and stuff. But then I try to log in and it won't, log on and then it hits me. Oh my gosh, hardly any of the security cameras are working. 90% of them were offline and not working because this week we were actually switching over to a brand new security system and all brand new cameras, okay? So we've had people working here at the house, which is why there was construction of like, like installing all these new cameras, like such better technology and all this stuff. And instantly I'm like, what's the chance that something would get stolen while our security cameras are down? Like why they are down? Then we're like, how did the hell did they even get into this garage, right? But we can't check the other camera angles because they're offline. 
but luckily we had two cameras that showed this guy like coming and grabbing my skateboard or like one of our set backpacks. We have like a lot of random stuff in that. <laughs> my power washer, which like, if you know Maggot Gate <laughs> from Pretty Basic, like you'll know. I, I, I literally was like, not my power washer. That was the one thing I was actually really sad about. One of my really nice like camera stabilizers was there, but the most expensive things that they stole were in fact, the new security cameras that were not yet installed in the house. And they were like thousands of dollars. Like they, like they were really expensive. So we have footage of them taking all of the security cameras, like all these big boxes of like cameras and equipment and stuff. And then along with that, the tools of the guys who have been working on the cameras all week, like that was the most expensive of the stuff gone. But like something about this just wasn't adding up until we look at the camera footage. And Ollie actually had spent the night that night. You see him come up, you see the garage open and you see him walk in. And literally like I distinctly remember him walking in and I was like dancing like, oh my God, like so excited to see him. And I hit the button for the garage to close. Clearly it didn't close because the camera footage we have shows the corner of the garage open. So the garage door was open all fucking night and it was my fault and I feel so dumb. I th humiliated, embarrassed. And of course, of course, of course, it's when we're getting security stuff installed. Like I've never done that in my entire life. Like at first I literally was like, something's not adding up. Why, how did the garage even get open? I felt more embarrassed because the next morning they came to install them and they were gone. And we had to explain that I left the fucking garage door open and that's why all their stuff is gone. I was truly, hum I was, I still am embarrassed. Like I, they're like, wow, this bitch really needs security. Like I, I never do shit like that. I never ever have done anything like that in my life. I've noticed the past week or two that that garage door button has been like finicky. Like I have to press it a few times and I think I was just distracted because Ollie was walking in and I didn't watch it go down. And my dad always says, make sure that the garage door goes down all the way. And like, you watch it. And I'm always like, yeah, no, I know dad. Like, don't like stop. I know clearly I didn't know and I didn't listen and it's all my fault. <laughs> Luckily, everything is replaceable. The only thing that actually had some sentimental value that they took were a pair of binoculars that we had. That was actually a pair from my grandpa's, like my mom's dad that we've had for obviously years and they passed away years ago when I was like a baby. So that was the only thing that was like really sad because we we're like, fuck, like, oh, like that was the only thing sentimental wise. Like obviously everything's replaceable. We did go down to the police station, filed a police report. Um, and luckily, luckily, luckily we talked to our neighbors. Okay. They also had the same guy rummaging through their stuff and they have them on camera from different angles. And we have him on our camera at different angles. The good thing is they didn't try to break in and no one was hurt. Like again, everything is just things and material things and they're all replaceable. And like, even the cameras, luckily we're getting insurance involved. So they're like working with it and stuff, which like, again, it is what it is. It's fine. I was really sad about my power washer though. I'm not gonna lie. I, even the skateboard, I was like, oh, I hope a kid enjoys that. Like, I don't know who needed that, but like, I hope whoever gets this on Christmas, like deserves it. I literally wrote it like twice, but I felt so stupid. I felt so stupid. It's crazy. Cause after we pieced together all of the footage we have from us and our neighbors footage and other neighbors footage, it was very clear that like these people were just going around anyway, like seeing if cars were unlocked or like going through. And I'm like, imagine, imagine being a thief coming up to my street and and then being like, damn, jackpot. They left their fucking garage door open. He literally walked in and shopped. He just shopped. So I wish him all the best. I hope he has an amazing Christmas with his family. But no, honestly, in all seriousness, I'm just glad everyone was okay. So what's the chance of me leaving the garage door open? Um, you know, the week we're getting new cameras installed, um, LOL, the irony oxymoron. So all this to say, don't forget to make sure your garage door fully closes and lock up every single night. Be good that way. Make sure your cars are locked. Also, obviously it's the holidays and it's just like a hard time for some people. So um, just be aware of just stuff like that and, and be smart because clearly I was dumb and I left the whole fucking thing open. Like I literally left it open. They didn't even break it. They didn't even break in. They just walked in. So yeah, luckily insurance is taking care of everything. Thank God. Um, but I, again, I'm just glad everyone's safe. That's all that matters. And I'm definitely going to get my garage door fixed because we cannot have anything like that happen again. Anyways, that's my little story time. So hopefully you learn from my mistakes. I wanted to be Mark Robber so bad. Like how he has that Christmas present prank thing, you know, the holiday prank thing where like they take the box and it explodes. I literally was like, oh damn, that would have been nice. But anyway, the lighting just got shit. So I'm sorry. Update everyone. It is 7.51. It feels so much later. I took off my makeup um, and that's why I have this lovely headband and we look so cute. Also, all the lights are purple right now. I hope that's not like annoying 
for you to see. But I am importing all my footage from today. Every single night I send my footage to my editor. Um, it says it's gonna take like an hour to send. Yeah, drinking a poppy. Ashley's watching a movie. Five hours? Oh wait, it went down to four. Shit, should have done this earlier. I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do my thumbnail now for the vlog that you're currently watching so that way tomorrow I can just put it up as quick as possible because like making thumbnails honestly takes way more time than you think. So we're gonna do that. Last time.